Hi, it's Catherine of Sugar Freedom, and I have a confession to make. I am about to do my minimum effective dose training routine for you, and the confession is, I wish I had a better body. I've lost a whole bunch of weight, 70 pounds, overcome obesity, gotten healthy, but still, for the camera, for the audience, for you, I wish I had done even better. But the truth is, I have to work with what I have right now, and so do you. And what I have right now is a healthy, middle-aged, 55-year-old body, and who knows what you have right now, but let's start from there. The other thing I have is a home office with room for some equipment, which is wonderful. I also have a gym membership. But another question is, well, even if I have a gym membership, unless I'm going to a class, what do I do with the gym? So this is to answer that question. And thank you to everyone who has watched this channel, who's tuned in to my 12-week carnivore experiment. A question I had is, can you do a video of the workout that you're doing? So this is the training I'm using. Pardon me for repeating myself, but what I'm looking for is the minimum effective dose. You see, I love to act, sing, and dance, and so I am dancing and I'm working on a project, but the character in the project is actually from the Victorian era, and she wasn't that skinny. Her name was Anna Riviere Bishop, and I don't need to be like ripped and cut to play Anna, yay! So this is what I have, this is what I've got to work with, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. There's a couple of things I love about this training program. Number one, the warm-up is built in to the program. So you're going to do five reps of each exercise with no weight as a warm-up, then 10 reps with a moderate weight for training, and then five reps again with a heavy weight in order to get stronger. Let's go ahead and get started and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna start with just a basic body weight squat. So here we go, backing up so you can see me. I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and coaching because I don't have a microphone on. So here we go, demonstration. The next exercise is a push-up. Elevated, then dropping down a little bit lower, and then full body with the elbows going straight back, like this. And then 10 to get warmer. Now I'm gonna go into full body close grip push-ups with my elbows going straight back. These are going to be hard for me. I want to do five. I can't do five in a row with excellent form, so I'm gonna to have to take some pauses in between. Here's how that looks. Three. 
taking a pause to get back to excellent form. Four, as you can see, it's getting harder. Last one. I have some regrets over the fact that I used to be much stronger at that push-up. It's not gonna do me any good. I have to just get back in and do what I can today. But you'll notice I've had to cut those push-ups way down to just five reps and I have to rest so that I have excellent form. It's worth it. I would rather that you rest to have excellent form than push through. We're not training for endurance right now. We're training for strength and form and to maintain muscle. As, we, as I do my carnivore challenge, I am looking for, honestly, a little bit of fat loss, but the body has a choice Am I going to release fat or am I gonna burn muscle? If I do resistance training, I believe I'm telling my body, hey, hold on to the muscle, release the fat. Next exercise is going to be a Romanian deadlift. Moderate weight. your way. Double bent over row. Ten with moderate weight. Moving on to a supported reverse lunge, five on each side, no weight. You don't have to drop down this far. On this one, unless you're advanced, I'm going to suggest just do the next set, moderate weight, five on each side. If you are advanced, you can then go to a heavier weight and do five more. I, at 55, 
and protecting my knees, protecting my back. So I'm gonna limit this a little bit. Five more on each side, moderate weight. Overhead press, no weight to warm up. Moderate for 10, nine, So that's it. Remember, the goal is to find the minimum effective dose, at least for the next part of the challenge. Thank you for joining me. Remember, check with your doctor before you start a new exercise program. Anything doesn't feel right, just eliminate it. You can always start with body weight only. Thanks for sharing and liking and subscribing, and I will continue to be back with my experiment, carnivore, and then the training, minimum effective dose. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you soon.